What's up, everybody? My name is Jay Helms, and I'm the founder of W2 Capitalist. Find out more at W2Capitalist.com, but today I am here to educate you, show you a demo of one of our amazing affiliates, uh, DealCheck.io. They have created this software, Anton Ivanov, an investor himself, software engineer by day. Once you see this, you'll understand uh, how he's able to do all this, but uh, how he is able to create all this. So what you're looking at here is the deal, uh, deal check is app.dealcheck.io sign in screen. Uh, I'm going to give about a five minute demo uh, here and just to kind of show you the basics. And then afterwards, there's going to be more videos to kind of dive, dive into because I think this is such an awesome piece of uh, software is going to help you in your real estate investing. So one of the things you're going to notice when you first attempt to log in, they do have an app in the app store uh, and on Google Play. Highly, highly recommend making that part of your uh, uh, tools that you use to invest in properties. Uh, as I mentioned, we are an affiliate. So when I sign in here, you're going to see my affiliate link, uh, all that good stuff. Also want to mention through our affiliation, if you use W2CAP at checkout, you're going to get 25% off. So one of the things... Um, let me just go ahead and log in here. Uh, of course, you can create a Facebook uh, an account with Facebook and Google. But one of the things I want, I want to mention before I talk about buying something is you get to try this absolutely free. You get to log in. You get to use the system absolutely free. Uh, now, you're going to get to a point in the software where you want to add some functionality or look at certain things, and it's going to ask you to upgrade. Uh, upgrade is $7. The upgrade means... Um, pay for the subscription, right? And it's seven dollars a month when you pay for annual. Uh, another twenty five percent discount for using the W two CAP promo code. And then uh it comes out to about sixty three bucks a month uh for that. So a little over five dollars a month or sixty three bucks for the year, excuse me. Five bucks a month uh, and some change, you get this amazing piece of software that's gonna help you analyze properties quickly. Um and, and just make you a lot more efficient to analyze deals. First thing when you log in, you're going to notice uh, these tabs over to the side. So it's not just for rentals. It's not just for burrs. It's not just for flips. It's for everything, right? And to get to these different pieces, you can go to flips. You can just click on it. What I'm going to focus on, I've actually technically never done a flip. I've never really done a burr. Um, you know, I have a live-in flip that it was transitioned into a rental so there is a hybrid of what i've done in the past between these two but i don't for the sake of common uh the lexicon it's it's not anything i've ever done so i'm going to stick with rentals which is where i know and i've loaded some properties in here that i'm extremely familiar with um most of the well not the sample property uh most of these um, not most of these, all of these, except for the sample I currently own or have owned in the past. So I'll show you, uh, I'll dive into one and just show you what this is. Cause we've got limited time, but it's super, super easy. So one thing you're going to see out this green check or red X, as we go through this, it's going to pull a picture up and it's going to have one of those two there. It's an indicator. Uh, did it meet your criteria? And uh, yes or no. Right. If it fails just one criteria, you're going to get a red X. Uh, if it passes all of your criteria, then it, you're going to get a green check mark. So this is going to come in super handy when you're comparing properties uh, later uh, down the road. But when you load these in, so I'm going to go to uh, West Gregory Street, which I have bought and sold over the last few years uh, to show you. Now, the cool thing about this is when you come in here, um, you have all of this different functionality. Now I did not insert a single piece of this information. Um, let me back up when you go in here and you add property. Matter of fact, let me just do that. Let me delete, uh, delete this property and let me add property to show you how this works. So import data. I'm going to start typing in the address 711 West Gregor. You see it automatically populating. Super fast, super awesome piece of software we have right here at our disposal. So, right, it's a one bedroom, one bath, verifying that. I don't know where they pull this information from. It could be from Zillow. It could be from County Records. Either way, it is an amazing piece of information. These are some photos that were imported or is going to ask me to import. 
I took these pictures, but I did not take these pictures for this piece of software. I took these pictures for uh, for a listing, uh, and maybe it's, uh, that's why it makes me think it came from Zillow. So uh, it just shows the description, blah, blah, blah. You're going to import property, or you can import and customize. If this is not the right property you're looking for, you're going to go back to property search. But I'm going to click import property because I know this is the right one. It's going to give it a few seconds. And then it's going to automatically populate all this data for you. Um, and it, as you can see, by the defaults that it pulled in, it shows this red X. So it, it shows that it fails something in our analysis, uh, or excuse me, in our criteria, which I preloaded, right? So it knows my criteria when it comes to single family homes. And you adjust those in the settings, which is in this little sprocket up here. But come in here i know a couple of things in here are not accurate so when i bought it uh meaning when i first looked at this property oh wrong one go back uh i know i bought this property for twenty two thousand dollars now it's saying purchase price is fifty six thousand uh based on some of the historical stuff that it's pulling for i actually sold this property uh for fifty thousand um back i think it shows you somewhere in the history here. Anyway, uh, also know the gross, ro gross rent income is not where I left it. It's possible the new owner has upped up the uh, uh, rental um, rent increase over time. So uh, kudos to him or her if that is the case. But I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna edit the property to show you just how powerful this is. So I purchased it for $22,000. Uh, I'm gonna leave the after repair value where it is. It's not. ARV is not something I really consider when I look at property, so I typically just ignore that. Uh, my interest rate uh, was 5.5% when I bought this. It was a 30-year um, purchase price. This is all the taxes and fees that come along with purchasing a property. I'm going to leave the default in there of 3%. Rehab cost, I did put uh, 9000 into this. Uh, cost overrun. Uh, in this is basically saying, hey, if you don't know how much, always put a buffer in there. Uh, high, if you're inexperienced, put 15 to 20%. More experienced, put 10%. There's always going to be things that come up that you're not aware of um, that are going to come back and just bite you uh, pretty hard in, in the end. So uh, gross rent. When I had this property, I rented it for $650. Uh, one of the things uh, I put up here is we paid for this property for cash so i need to take off no financing right um but you can see where this would come in valuable if you're buying things for cash i mean not for cash but just using uh, the banks and and or, and or hard money you can put that in there um operating expenses by the time we sold this property it was down to 40 uh, percent of monthly revenue. Uh, now that you can go in here and atomize that with, to include you know, utilities if you're providing them, which we did not uh, on this particular property. And then there was property management, um, taxes, insurance, all that good stuff that's going to come whether you have a mortgage or not. Uh, I don't really care about the depreciation for this exercise or appreciation long term. I wasn't planning at the time I was planning to hold on to it long term, but I never did. So if you notice, I've made all those edits and there's no save button. That's because the guys at DillCheck have made this very easy. Uh, it does it on its own, right? So now what I'm going to go do is go back to the buy and hold projections. Click on this button. It's going to take me to where what it's going to look like, you know, the projected revenue for this. Huge. And if you notice, after I made those edits, that red X turned to a green check mark because now it surpasses my... Uh, investing criteria. Um, if it'll let me do this. Yeah, I'm going to go down to the uh, criteria piece in just a minute to show you that. But uh, but yeah, this is it. So if we go back to the property now, you'll see uh, the cash flow breakdown, the investment breakdown, um, cap rate, cash on cash return, return on equity, all of that, those metrics that may interest you um, in, in doing this, uh, when you analyze properties, right? So the biggest things that I look at are cash flow and cash on cash return. If it cash flows, uh, I just noticed I don't have this in my criteria, but if it cash flows, um, uh, per unit, at least $200 a month, uh, that is criteria number one. Um, I'm going to uncheck that for the sake of this conversation. 
And then I, on every asset, cash on cash return is going to be at least 12%. Um, I've got a blog article that talks about cash on cash return at w2capitalist.com. You can check that out. But it has all these different ratios and, and things that it automatically calculates for you uh, during this process. And again, there is no save button. I made some edits, um, but there is no save button here, uh, that, because it automatically does it. So I'm going to go back to my properties. Oh yeah. There's a purchase criteria button right there. Um, and then I'm going to go down to, we were doing Seven Eleven West Gregory, this, uh, scenario here, it shows you a summary cash flow, cap rate, cash on cash return just happens to be my criteria. Hmm. Interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, another huge piece of this, uh, software. Um, I think all the other calculators out there are lacking and they have figured this out. Uh, Anton and the guys at deal check, uh, Dido have figured this out, but you go in here, this tools offer calculator. It tells you what your highest offer should be. Now, if your highest offer is above the current price, it's immediately going to turn red, right? And then it's going to show you the limitation, uh, why it's limited if it is limited. Uh, and in this case, cash on cash return. So a uh, huge, huge thing is going to show you your highest offer. Um, and then, and quite frankly, this is how I evaluated this property before. And it stayed true, right? Uh, ended up uh, buying it for 22 uh, according to this calculator that factors in my criteria this was the highest offer I should make and, and it was pretty incredible how this all works out and it cash flowed about 300 bucks a month which I believe that showed uh, earlier so the other thing I want to show you that this too is as you start to build your portfolio of potential properties you're going to want to compare right now you can easily compare to say Okay, green check marks, red X's. I don't necessarily want to look at those, right? You can come in here, you can sort by um, purchase criteria, and it's going to show you which ones have some of the better criteria, right? So even though all these have green check marks, you're like, well, but which one is the better deal? You can see, you can look right here to see which one's the better deal. What you can do to get a little bit more further detail analysis, and I know I've gone over the five minute mark, is click on compare. And I'll do this and I'll wrap up and I'll follow up with any other things uh, in a separate video. But you can compare. I'm going to compare this property with this property. You're going to choose compare properties and you're going to have this put output that's going to show you everything that you need to know to make a, a very informed decision. Uh, about which investment property is best for you, right? Um, and then if you wanted to add a third property, I've added up to four before. I don't know. Let me just see if you can add. You can add more. Uh, my view, it goes it goes kind of crazy. But um, And sorry, I slipped the mouse there. I cleared the screen out. But um, you can, one last thing, you can do multifamily. So this is a multifamily. I'm a general partner on wanted to show you this, that there's a lot more detail that goes into this, into a multifamily than there is a single family or a small multifamily, a uh, small multifamily being up to four properties, but you can add these in here. Um, there's going to be another, I'm going to do another video to show you all the information that you can put in for, um, um, a larger multifamily. But again, this software, it's been used by over a hundred thousand users. Uh, I believe it's 500,000 properties have been analyzed and those properties include rentals, burrs and flips. So go to dealcheck.io, sign up, register is completely free. And then when you decide to pull the trigger on it, um, or you decide, Hey, I need this. I need to be able to look at this filter. or I want to be able to look at um, this ratio upgrade is going to be $7 a month, um, for an annual subscription. If you use the W2 CAP promo code, it's going to be, uh, even 25% off of that. So you're getting close down to five bucks a month for this incredible, incredible, po powerful, um, deal analyzer here, uh, dealcheck.io. Again, uh, I've got an affiliate link I'll post in the comments. But if you forget to click on that, if you just stumbled on this video, 
Use W2CAP at checkout and you'll get 25% off uh, your annual subscription. All right. That's it. Check us out at W2Capitalist.com. And like I, as I like to say in the podcast, earn, invest, repeat. <laughs>